All right, I'm done with the hard top, finally. Check it out. It took me like a month to make this thing. There's with the top up, all mounted in. This thing is really strong. Like I can, I can hang on this. Solar panels that go up here. This is this is rain catchment right here. This tube, all the all the rainwater will come collect here and go down here, go into there this channel and then on this whole top it also collects rainwater and then right here put that right here to stop it from leaving and that's connected to my tanks so I can co collect rainwater on this entire area including the hard top which is super cool and rainwater tastes the best okay I'm happy I even routed the the cable through here through the tube into the boat so I can uh, hook my solar panels up little touches like that this is awesome this would have this probably would have cost me like four grand and I think with materials not counting my time it was like 1100 bucks including the 150 bucks I had to pay for uh, David to come over here and help me out with the glassing so not bad yeah, about a thousand bucks out of pocket, I think, for materials. Very cool, very, very strong. Okay, so the first plan for the hard top did not work out at all. I wasted a bunch of money. Uh, the original plan here, I'll show you, was to use these fiberglass door skins for shower doors that you'd find on shower doors. They're a little rough on one side. Oh, that's not the side. But they got a little texture to them, you know? So, uh, I was gonna use two of these, put one down in a mold, and put the Nitocore on top of it. I'll show you guys what the Nitocore looks like. This is Nitocore with another sheet on top of it, but you see how that's like a honeycomb material here? That's another one of those sheets. So, we gotta start over. Right now, what we're thinking is we're just gonna get a piece of Nitocore that's already finished on both sides, and we're gonna score it a bunch of times, wrap, bow it out a little bit, put a piece of fiberglass over it, and that'll be our, uh, our hard top, so stay tuned for that. All right, so in order to get the angle correct on the hard top, I had to match the angle of the top of the boat. So I took a piece of plywood and I cut it in half, and then made a female mold of the arc on the top of the boat from the cabin top. This is the laminated piece of Nitocore. It's very light, very strong. So we measured every two inches and scored the top of it. And as you can see, now it's flexible. Before we did any work to it, we needed to sand both sides of it because we cut through on a couple spots accidentally. We had to glass both sides. Next, we filled the score marks with cabosil and epoxy mixed together. And then before that dried, we laid out up one sheet of fiberglass and put raw resin on top. Then we added another layer after that was dry of 
epoxy with West System 410 filler. And then I sanded that, cut the corners, and put a railing around the outside, which is simply a one by two inch piece of PVC lumber. I routered the outside of the lumber and the inside on a channel that was 5 8 thick, the same thickness as the Nida Corp. And when you heat that up, you can bend it to whatever form you want. And then I primed it, sanded it, sanded it, <laughs> sanded it. There was so much sanding. And I carried it over. The whole thing weighs about 35 pounds. It's not heavy. Very key for a catamaran. I'm very weight conscious on this boat. And then I strapped it to the pop top and went and picked up the aluminum rods from the welder that I had made and set them up and taped them to the top and marked them and uh, took the top back off, put it in the female mold that I made with plywood and finished what I needed to do. Okay, so you might think that I can just mount this hard top, but actually I had to over drill this and I'm gonna fill that with epoxy and then I'm gonna re-drill my holes through the epoxy, that way it'll seal that wood from getting any water in it. I did the same thing over here. You can kind of see it better here. So I drilled out that hole and I'm going to fill that with epoxy. And then I'm going to take these little plugs and I'm going to plug up. I was going to use a pencil. But plug up these holes, one, two, and then I can just drill those out. That way the epoxy doesn't get everywhere. All right, it's been about five hours and uh, all of my um, epoxy is cured. I already went and drilled holes in it, but you can see, instead of having a small hole in the wood, where seawater could get in there and then entrance into the wood and then start rotting the deck away. We just drilled a bigger hole, filled it with epoxy, let it dry, drilled the smaller hole, and now there's no wood. Okay. And from under from underneath, this is what it looks like. So they look like this. Can you see? Cool, so you can actually see through them. And then I'll put backing plates down here and over there, and it'll be done. So now we're gonna take a little bit of our 5200. Um, this is Marine 5200 sealant. It's also called Screw the Next Guy because this is like the strongest glue you'll ever see. And if you get enough of it in something, it'll never come apart. So I'm gonna put it a little bit of glob here and here and here and here. That will come apart later if I need it to, but it'll, it'll keep that from... I'll also put some right here so that water can't get inside the cabin. And I'll also put some right here so water can't get inside this cable. And then I've already routed this cable f from here through the cabin top for the solar panels. Wow, it's a beautiful day. All right, so my marks have been made for the aluminum poles for the hard top, and I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna do here. All right, so here's the marks. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I already put an X in the very center. I'm gonna drill through there. I'm gonna make a two inch hole right here. Uh, maybe not two inch, maybe one inch, and I'm going to fill it with epoxy and Havasil, which that will thicken the epoxy and it'll stay there and it'll be like a rock hard. And that'll, that'll give it some um, compression so I can really tighten down those clamps on, on either side and 
it's not going to compress right through this honeycomb material. <laughs> we're going to mix up some Cavacil. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos where I'm working with epoxy, but I go a little bit more into depth. All right, here's what we need. Resin, hardener. This is the slow hardener. Uh, you know, I don't really see any reason to use the fast hardener. So I get the slow. A cup to mix it in that's fairly clean. Again, this is not going to be seen, so it doesn't really matter that much. Stir stick and some cabosil. This cabosil is a, a thickening agent and it hardens like, like rock. So these are equal mix. They're already, uh, the pump handles have already taken care of the mix. So we're going to make a bunch of it. One, oop, two, oh boy. Three, four, five, six. We're going to call that five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, whatever. Now we need to add some cabosil to this. A lot. This stuff is super, super light. All right, and that's the consistent consistency we kind of want. A little thinner or thicker doesn't really matter. So we can just sand it off when it's done. It doesn't have to be perfect. If we were going for uh, a, a finish, we would probably build that up a little more, but that's gonna be perfect. So it's finally mounted. This is the first time I'm gonna see it with the top down. I'm really excited. So this is what it looks like. Uh, let's see if it's got the same angle. I can't really tell from right here. Oh man, that is awesome. Spot on. I mean, almost perfect. Oh yeah! So, I had these made from this. This was my, I think I showed you this before, but just a piece of bent PVC with some PVC blocks that's glued to with epoxy or whatever the hell that is. It's actually like three different things. Um, and then I just heated up the PVC lumber and bent it around the cabin top and then glued this to it. So that's what you get. Cool, huh? Anyway. So here's the moment of truth. I'm going to put down the top. Oh man, I'm excited. What's it going to look like? Oh boy, oh boy, what's it gonna look like? Yeah, look at that. Oh man, it doesn't get more perfect than that. Cool. I'll get a windshield that snaps along here and snaps along here. And then some curtains on the sides. Be able to have a whole little love nest in there. This is awesome. Let's see how it looks on this side. Yeah, it's really cool. It almost looks like it's floating, right? Like you can't really see the tubing. 